Girls, frontline, cute girls, great guns, ready to kick ass. Let's give you a quick and easy guide on how to get started with this wonderful new gotcha that is on Android and iPhone. <laughs> I'm using that. That was so good. That was actually really good. I, I like I that. Used to, I used to be a radio announcer. Okay. <laughs> well, they're going to probably know after, <laughs> after, after that little spiel in the beginning. Yo, what is going on, guys? The Shooting Star Sheriff is here, and I'm here playing Girls Frontline, but I'm here with one of my buddies. I'm here with Sean. Say what's up. Suck, guys. Sean here. So, Sean kind of introduced me to this game while I was gone for over the summer, which at this point by now, you guys know that I was gone. <laughs> so... Um, he, t he told me a little bit about this game, but I don't know too much about it. So I actually have him with me today. Um, learning, uh, actually, you know, kind of brushing me up on how to play this. So without further ado, we're going to get up in this, uh, game here. So yes, um, basically the whole point of the game is you have, what's the word for it? Moe and, and, and Moe girls that are Moe like anthropomorphic guns. So, like, these girls are technically robot dolls who are programmed to use the specific gun that they are named after. So, here on your particular screen, you've got Fowl, Fowl. With, with her Fowl. So. <laughs> Without, yes, basically. Um, and that pretty much sums it up in a nutshell. Um, it is a tactical game, um, mm -hmm. so which we will jump into this. But we're actually going to... Go over some tips oh. and tricks because this game's a little very important. I feel for this game, the first thing is that the gotcha portion of this game, the actual like getting the characters and stuff, is not the gotcha portion. You don't spend, you don't have to spend any money whatsoever to get any of the girls. Over time, you will just eventually accrue all the girls through just natural things you do through playing the game. That's that's actually one of the first things I w wanted to. I'm glad you brought that up. It, um. Yeah, so the gotcha aspect of this game is completely free. The only thing, um, you do get gems, which that is the premium currency, but you spend gems on, like, these little things here. Like, I clicked over in this little corner. But there's basically a banner where you can buy furniture and stuff for a dorm. Yeah. Um, and costumes. But this is the only, this is all cosmetic. It does not impact the gameplay at all. Um, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's there if you want it. Um, and it took me straight up to my dorm. <laughs> oh, actually, if we want to start in the dorm, you want to start? Oh yeah, we can just start that. Since you were starting that, since you just pulled it up. So, the dorm aspect of the game is also mostly free to play. So if you if you gather your batteries, so many batteries. Batteries are important for helping upgrade your girls. So if you go up to uh, the auxiliary rooms, you have a rescue station and a data room. Okay, I clicked on rescue station. Okay. So, see this. if you, this is this one I feel is more cosmetic because this is helping you uh, accumulate like animals to put into the dorms, which is purely cosmetic. It's it, all it does is raise the comfort level in the dorms, which helps you make more batteries per day. Mm. And all the batteries are used for is if you go to the data station, the data room. So, <clears throat> each of these things in the data room can help. Um, change things up in a game. So you have surplus XP, which can be turned into combat reports at the dusty desk. Okay, so I find them to go. If you manage to click the dusty desk, yeah. yeah. You click work, and what that would do is it would create uh, uh, a combat report for every 3,000 XP, which you, you can then give the combat report to your girls who are in the door. Got you. Okay. So, okay. Upgrading this area in the dorm, the data room, with your batteries uh, lets you have more surplus XP, lets you uh, accrue more XP from uh, non-maxed out dolls. Okay. So, like, yeah. if, if your dolls aren't max level, you're going to get more XP from them as well as the maxed out dolls. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to click work here. Yeah. And then... Since you've only got 4,000, you can only make one at this time. So I'll just... And it's at t and it's 12 hours. Now, other things in this area, so, will also uh, dictate how long... This will take? Yeah. 
So the more you upgrade in here with the bat with the batteries, mm -hmm. the batteries. Ba batteries. <laughs> <laughs> so the more you upgrade in here with the batteries, the more you can uh, gather surplus XP to like quick level some doll some new dolls you get to okay. be able to like use them in new echelons or whatever. Okay. So and the factory is where you create your tea dolls. Now I think I have some actually in production. Yeah, you've got some that we can we can take a look, see what you uh, got. Okay, let's see. Let's um and then after we after we do this, we'll we'll like show you how this works. Okay. Okay. So you got a two star SMG. Now I want to say, mm -hmm. um, as you're as you're pulling these up, is that the stars only matter in that the the higher the star, the more pronounced the the buffs are of that particular gun. You can do you can run through this entire game with two star dolls. Okay. You don't have to have the high star dolls. All they do is um, change the stats to be higher, oh. and their and their tile set that they affect is different. And we'll show you what I mean about tile set affecting later. Okay. But this is the factory. This is kind of where the T doll production is like kind of happening at. Um, you have a heavy production which you don't get yet until you clear 30 mi different missions. Um, there are certain T dolls that you can get through exclusively through heavy production. Yes, shotguns. You can get shotguns exclusively through heavy productions, and it, and you can't get them any other way. And the shotguns are the only units in the game that come with armor, so they're mm -hmm. automatically tanky. From the get-go and they're great frontline uh units to soak up the damage got you um another cool thing i like about this game because like you know like with other gotchas that you know me and you have played mm -hmm. uh you pretty much just throw your premium currency to the wind and then you just it's rng that does it yep uh, what's really cool about this like i'm gonna make a t-doll right now is you see that so, you got these four categories here which is manpower ammunition ration and parts so, the easiest way I find to do it is if you're looking for a specific T-Dolls to go to production log. Production log. And looking at the five stars, let's say you want to try for... Who do you want to try for? Oh, um, can I try for another foul? Um, you could try for another foul or you could try for any I, of them, really. Um, oh, this AR here. Type 97. Yeah. Uh, so, click use recipe. That automatically sets up whatever that recipe was that got her because that person pulled her with, with that, that recipe. recipe so okay um you can click start production and that 240 i know for a fact that's not her so basically what what's really cool about this version of, of gotcha is you can basically kind of fine tune or narrow down your search to who you're trying to pull for mm -hmm. which i think is really cool um so a really decent one that is all around good is 430, 430, 432, 30. This happens to be just a generally decent uh, recipe recipe for about anything that's not machine guns. So mm. anything like rifles, SMGs, and handguns, this is a good one that will probably get you somewhere decent along the gamut. So at 340, I, I'm, per I'm fairly certain that's a three star doll. Three star. And so, she's a rifle. Yeah. Okay. So, so generally, if we were, you know, if you were playing this uh, for to make your T dolls, you would wait two hours thirty um, minutes or three hours for this one. Um, there is a complete immediately, which that uses up your uh, quick production um, tickets, which they're right up here at the top. You have T doll contracts, uh, dummy cores, um, and quick production tickets. So, for the sake of this video. I'm going to burn two. I'm going to burn two of these. You just need to burn the 340 one right there. The, yeah, we'll burn this one. So I'm going to show you what happens. So finishes it up. Oh, you're right. Three star. Mm -hmm. it was, and you got, a, you got a rifle there. Oh, I don't I don't have her. Nope. I, don't, I don't have SV-98. So She's, a, she's good. Rifles uh, are usually used. They're high damage. Uh -huh. They're used for boss killing. Okay. Or... Uh, Taking down units that have armor. Okay, that's cool. So that's kind of what happens um, when you use a T doll. So you also have these other features as well, which you have dummy link, which like enhances your T doll. Yes. So at certain levels, your T doll can level up in a specific way, such as it'll dummy link. 
So you'll be able to, if you start off with each doll uh, with only has one unit out on the field. So when you dummy link, it'll add a second unit. Okay. So, and that also increases its damage output. Gotcha. So it's essentially having, if she, if you have one girl doing 21 damage and all of her other stats are the same. Uh, so if, once you dummy link her, you have two girls okay. in that unit doing the exact same stats, shooting the, shooting the exact same damage. Okay. Okay. So essentially it, it powers up your dolls and it makes them more effective gotcha. as an echelon because instead of running with five dolls, you're suddenly running with ten dolls. Oh, uh, yeah, because it's like, it's times two, because when you dummy mm -hmm. link, it's... I got you. And then, and then at a later point, you're running with three dolls and you're five, yeah. so that's fifteen dolls. So it's and just it more just, firepower. Yeah, it, it's more firepower, and it like it's it's just like upping their stats. Also have a T-Doll Enhancement, uh, which basically, it lets you... It's basically, if you've played any other gacha, um, which you guys... You know this channel plays a lot of gotcha games, um, or at least a few in particular. This is basically how you feed characters into another one. So if I picked like my foul, um, I could select other T dolls, and these. You have a lot of just just pick a bunch of those. Yeah, I'm. Gonna <laughs> pick, I'm gonna pick a lot of these. I'm just gonna pick four of these. So, so as you can see, as I'm choosing them here, um, you've got these stats that go up damage. Uh, evasion, accuracy, and uh, rate, rate of fire. fire. Um, as you can see, my damage didn't go up, but my evasion, accuracy, and my rate of fire went up a bit. So I can click enhance, and then that would enhance my foul, making making her stronger, mm -hmm. uh, or making her just a better gun. Um, <laughs> basically, just in a nutshell. And then you got retirement, which I, I know this. I've got this one. So this one, this is the one where you can like select your T dolls. Um, and you would basically like if you have a whole bunch of dupes of one as you can obviously see I have a bunch well For the one for the two star dolls you can get a little bit of resources per one that you retire um, with, Once you start getting more uh, Three four and five star dolls to where you have dupes of those. Yeah, uh, three star dolls give one core Four star dolls give three cores and five star dolls give five cores gotcha. when you retire them and just so you know, everybody, it's established canon that when you retire a T doll, you're not killing them, you're not uh, setting them to be offline, you're just demilitarizing them and setting them off to go pursue civilian uh, duties. So I guess let's go ahead and jump into actual like team building and actually playing a match. Um, so what you do is once you are in the factory, you've created a few T dolls, or you're getting T dolls through playing the story mode, which you do get a few. Mm -hmm. um, through playing the game itself, you come here into the formation tab. Um, so basically, this is going to load up your echelon. So these are basically the teams that you will have. You can have up to six, and it's actually recommended to go up to at least have six because there's a lot of things you kind of want running at once from what Sean has told me as yeah. far as um, having, uh, having your teams do stuff to get you more resources and stuff like that. Um, resources, which I feel like we, we'll break off and talk about the resources real quick. Um, resources are right over here in the top right-hand corner. Um, these are basically um, the what you'll need to not only make T-Dolls, but it, you're, you're using these for a variety of things. You use um, them to go on uh, going on missions, your T-Dolls, uh, your squad, will take up a certain amount of ammunition and rations per mission because they have to use the ammunition to shoot and the rations to move around per turn. Yeah. So they're using up the resources of every mission. Uh, parts don't really come into play uh, in anything else other than building and neither does manpower really. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of like what that's just kind of a little quick debrief on that right there that's super important you want to always make sure you like know what you what you have here or you can't like play um it's pretty much like your version of stamina in any other game basically um so you have your echelons i have five right now because i was i was able to get another slot unlocked um but these are basically where you would go and you would pick your teams um, you would load them up and you would take them into battle. Now, what? Here's more of the getting more into the tactical part of it. Um, you have these things called formation presets. So you have this. You have this tic tac toe square, three by four. three by three square, and um, your T dolls 
can affect each other in certain ways based on uh, eh, I'll show you this in their character menu too is they have the, they have their own squares that they affect the blue squares are what they affect so here's the stats of the t-doll when you look at them so her formation buff is what affects the squares so her personal thing is she buffs ARs damage by 12% you can also see their skill which uh, we'll tell you a little bit about what they do so she makes it harder for the enemies to shoot you and it decreases their movement speed these things are unlocked later as you progress in the game. So T-Doll equipment uh, would be like an exoskeleton which will increase her evasion. Uh, that gets unlocked at level 30. Uh, the ammo gets unlocked at I believe level 50. And I believe the final accessory slot is unlocked around level 80. Uh, or I believe it's 30, 60, and 80 is where those are unlocked. So because I've got uh, the second slot I'll knock on a couple of my girls who are 60. Uh, but those will all increase uh, their abilities to do things, which you can also see all their basic stats right here at the top. 